transmissions aren't what they used to be, and I mean that in the kindest sense of the word. On a visit to Max Customer Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania recently, I had a chance to compress about 50 years of transmission history into a single day. We went from a primitive but effective two-stick duplex transmission to the state-of-the-art M-Drive. And if you think we have a driver shortage on our hands today, thank your lucky stars we aren't trying to coax new drivers into this industry with twin-stick gearboxes. part of all this is trying to remember what gear you're in. You get a pretty good idea of looking at the sticks, but uh, it's not always really accurate. And if you think that's scary, imagine what it would be like launching a truck like that on a grade like this one. Hi, I'm trucking journalist Jim Park coming to you from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Join me as we take a few laps on the test track of time grinding our way through from 1957 to 2010. Okay, click. Fasten the belt. Press D for drive, away we go. A marked contrast to the other truck I was driving today. Single push of the button and you've got uh, 12 forward gears at your command. A little bit of a, a little bit of help from the computer. Which is quite all right after a hard day of driving that old twin stick, I'll tell you. Starting with the present, Max M-Drive is a remarkable piece of engineering born of Volvo's iShift transmission, but made 100% Mac through some engineering tweaks. Like the Mac engine line, the M-Drive behaves the way a driver would expect a Mac to behave. We did a deep dive on the M-Drive earlier in the Ultimate Test Drive series. Those videos are on the Today's Trucking website and on our YouTube channel, Today's Trucking One. Check them out for a more detailed look at this remarkable transmission. Here's a quick overview of why M-Drive has become so popular with Mac owners. With 12 forward gears, the M-Drive's got a perfect range for uh, North American highway driving. It's got a pretty close ratio between the gears, so it's not going through huge steps in engine RPM to get to the next gear or to get back down to a gear. It was a very smooth driving transmission as well. The driver notices, well, you can tell it's shifting but it's really not uh, abrupt or jarring. Very, very smooth, and with the close steps between the gears, it helps keep the engine in uh, the fuel economy sweet spot very well. It does a very good job on doing that. While M-Drive makes all driving tasks easier, there's one driver task that M-Drive makes infinitely easier, downshifting for maximum engine braking. With M-Drive, it's as simple as pushing a button. Back in driving school days, I was always taught not to, not to downshift going downhill. Of course, the fear was if you missed a shift, you'd be in neutral and the truck would start to roll away on you, which was sort of a scary prospect. But with the automated transmission, all the driver has to do is hit the uh, downshift button and the computer does all the risky stuff. So you're guaranteed of a, of a good shift, a good solid shift every time you want to grab another couple of gears. Nothing more complicated than pressing that button. Just like we're doing right now. Down to 14. Down to 16 and a half. We'll probably get one more out of it. 2100 RPM. That's uh, full rated engine speed, so that's where you're going to get your absolute maximum retarding power if you need it. Uh, no worries whatsoever of it missing a shift and you taking off down the hill. In fact, there's no chance at all of missing a shift. If the shift range won't work, the transmission won't do it. If there was anything a driver needed in the days before M-Drive, it was manual dexterity. In part two of this transmission retrospective, we go back to 1957 and see what it was like driving a truck where the driver needed good measures of manual dexterity, a good memory, really tough hands and broad shoulders. We'll also spend a little time with a modern manual transmission just to put the evolution into perspective. Oh, and uh, we'll also show you how M-Drive handles a launch on a 15% grade. Don't forget to check out our other Mac videos. They're on our website, todaystrucking.com, and on our YouTube channel, Today's Trucking One. From the Mac Customer Center in Allentown, Pennsylvania, I'm Jim Park for Today's Trucking's Ultimate Test Drive Series. Stay safe and keep your seatbelts fastened.